Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, today I thought I'd share one of my recent knife trades. I'm always doing trading and stuff. Sometimes I make videos, sometimes I don't. Um, but I did want to share this one just because I thought it was a little bit more unique. And it's been a minute since I've traded for a fixed blade. So I was talking to a wonderful viewer named Antonio and uh, he had this Battle Horse Knives knife and he was interested in uh, a different fixed blade. You know, this one has a little double-edged dagger blade, very much suited for self-defense. This is a little pig sticker, as some people call them. You know, this would be tucked away deep in your concealment and uh, would come out at a, a time of need. You know what I'm saying? Um, pretty substantial little uh, knife though. It's got some, uh, some heft to it, even though it's on the, the smaller side. Nice, simple, ergonomic uh, handle, and or by ergonomic, I just mean uh, simple. <laughs> There's no finger cutouts or anything. Anyone can grab this and use this in a very natural, I need to stay alive manner. Um, like I said, a little bit of a, a shorter blade, double edge, it still is pretty sharp, but I'm going to definitely make this a razor uh, sharp blade on both sides, just in case I do ever decide to carry this for such a purpose. Um, it's just interesting. It's interesting on a couple of levels. Number one, I don't see a whole lot of Battle Horse knife uh, models that are double-edged, okay, or uh, directed for self-defense. I have seen some, you know, one-off pieces they've done, you know, over the years and stuff, but generally speaking, they do a lot of really awesome bushcrafty style outdoor knives, right? And this is definitely not that. So if I come in close, you can see they're stamping on the side there. Very simple, you know, textured uh, G10 scales. There's obviously two screws to put it together. So there's a close-up of their logo and the blade. I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it's a very simple design. This is basically like a super, super nice prison uh, shiv. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's its purpose, right? Comes to a very nice little point here. Um, interesting sheath, too. We have camo on one side, brown on the other. And then, of course, a little you know belt uh, carrier here that looks like it. I don't know if this came with a knife originally. It kind of looks like one of the ones that comes with the, uh, the minimalist. But either way... Uh, very, very cool little knife. Uh, so the person who, uh, who wanted to trade this with me, Antonio, he's just looking for something more just simple, something he can use, maybe uh, process some woods or something, a little outdoorsy type knife. So I'm actually trading this for a, a gorilla, uh, if you saw that in a, a previous video. But, um, but yeah, just a pretty cool little trade. I wanted to uh, share it here with you guys. Let me give you a little view of that. Um, like I said, I don't always you know, share video footage of all my trades and stuff. But when something's a little bit different or interesting, I do like to uh, to show it off. I get a lot of uninteresting things. I get a lot of repeat knives. You know, there's certain knives that you just see over and over and over again, like, you know, Griptilians and uh, PM2s. And, you know, they're just common, nice knives. And there's nothing wrong with them. They're awesome. But I'll get it in trade for something else, and then I'll trade it back out or I'll sell it. Or it's knives that I've, I've talked about and shown multiple times on the channel. So stuff like that, I mean, it just, it comes, you know, and comes and goes. That's pretty much it. It just passes hands constantly. I get a ton and ton of stuff that I don't, um, you know, necessarily keep for myself. It's just, you know, in a revolving list of stuff that's available for, for sale or trade. This is one of those things. I mean, it's not like it'll never be available, but this is something I like to have for a long time. It's a very cool option for a last ditch, uh, self-defense tool. So yeah, just, uh, it's an interesting knife. This is, uh, Something that I'm, I'm planning on hanging on to and, and perhaps carrying occasionally. Um, but it's uh, it's an interesting one. So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll touch this guy up and this will always be an option for that deep concealment uh, you know, defense option. That's pretty much it. So that's all. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you do uh, knife trading and stuff, let me know down in the comment section what your latest trade was. And even if you don't, let me know down in the comment section what your latest knife purchase was and what you think of it. I'd love to hear it. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.